Hello guys, I'm going to show you real quickly how to do a clean install on your operating system. Um, what a clean install means is when you buy a computer from whatever manufacturer or um, like if you buy it from Best Buy or any department store, um, it's going to have a bunch of bloatware on there, a bunch of stuff you really don't need. Um, and you can delete it, but you're still going to have a bunch of traces left over of all this stuff. And it's going to slow your, down your computer because it's going to run in the background and it's just going to get in the way. So the best the best thing to do is to run a clean install. Now what you want to f do is find out which version of Windows you have. Um, for example, the computer I was working on earlier had Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit. Uh, make sure you know which version of uh, the like Windows 7 comes in like starter, home base, no it doesn't come in home basic, home premium, ultimate, professional, and then it also has 32 and 64 bit versions. So make sure you get the exact specific one you need. So what you're going to do is um, go to a torrenting website um, like the Pirate Bay. Um, now, I'm not by no means advising you to download any illegal copy of Windows, um, but just to download the software, which is actually legal because um, you already own it. So here I'm on the Pirate Bay. I'm going to search for Windows 7 Home Premium um, 32 in Applications and do a Pirate Search. Um, up here in the top right, I'm going to sort by Cedars. Um, here's the spam thing. Um, um, so here's, for example, is a Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit times 86, which is the 32-bit version. Um, from September, that's actually the one I got earlier. Um, now, as you... Um, I don't know if it says it in here, but this one came with an activator, which is actually illegal. Um, activator just means it activates the product key for you. Um, you can you can download it. You just can't if you use it. It's illegal. Um, I just downloaded it and deleted it right away. Um, so what you, what you're gonna do is when you download this, it's gonna come up. You're gonna pull up the folder where it's at, which is gonna look like this. And then here there's an ISO image file, which all that is is when you open it, it'll ask you to burn it to a DVD. You burn the file to a DVD and then you put it back in the computer, restart, or it, you know, it doesn't have to be the computer you're working on, whatever computer you're trying to do this with. Um, you stick, stick it in, um, restart the computer, and boot it off the disk, and um, go from there. Then when it asks you for the product key, make sure you know your own Windows software's product key. Um, Usually on new computers, it's um, there's a little sticker on the side of it somewhere, or on, if it's a laptop underneath it, underneath it um, with a product key. Um, just enter that and it should work. Um, now, when you're done with that, you're going to have a lot of Windows updating to do. Um, make sure to install them, restart your computer, check again, and it, it'll be a little bit because there's going to be a lot of updates because usually you're going to find an old version of Windows. Um, with before a lot of updates like the one I just like this one here is a uh, September 2010 so as you can imagine since then there's been a lot of updates um, so yeah just use that product key um, and then when it's everything's done you're gonna go to your manufacturer's website go to their support page and make sure to get all the drivers that you need um, for example the computer I was working on earlier um, I still needed to download like the sound driver, um, but after that everything should work and your computer's going to run a lot faster and it's not going to slow down as much because there's not going to be um, as many background processes. Okay, thanks guys. Check out my other videos and if you need more details on how to torrent, uh, check out my other video I have on my channel. Thank you.